Hi everyone, thanks for coming back for part two. In this video, I'm going to just go ahead and start going over the tables on the new planet. And I'm going to start with this one right here. And it reads New Planet, Sign, Wrath, Lion, God, Come, Passover. And in case you're not um, familiar with what is being referred to, as far as a new planet, there apparently was a new planet discovered recently, and there was actually a prophecy by Dr. Owar about a new planet, and that once it was discovered that the Messiah would be coming soon, and um, Charles Holler had made a video about that. And I'm going to try to find that video, and I'll put a link in the description box in case you're not familiar with that. I wouldn't have known anything about it if I hadn't seen that video by, by Charles Holler. So I'm going to put the link in the description box. But that's what you know I was thinking about when I put in New Planet, because it, it was discovered recently, and that was a prophecy that was made by Dr. O.R., concerning the Messiah. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go over the terms that come up in this table. And over here in the blue, you see the word lion with the letters L-I-O-N. And over here in the green, you see the word God with the letters G-O-D. And here in the yellow, you see the word come, the letters C-O-M-E. And then here in the green, you have the word pass, the letters P-A-S-S. -S. And then you have over here in the burgundy, the letters O-V-E-R. And here in the pink, you have the word planet with the letters P. L A N E T and the word sign is over here in the lavender the letters S I G N and new is over here I, I couldn't find it but I see it now it's here with the letters N E W and new is right within the word planet so it does appear to be talking about the new planet and then over here in the bluish purple you see the word wrath going straight up and down the letters W R A T H and I wanted to point out something really interesting over here where it has the word God. I'll go ahead and, and read the scripture over here because it's a little bit easier to read that way, but that, that's what's written right behind the word God here. It starts out with sing unto Jehovah and I'll, I'll read it from over here. It says, I will sing unto Jehovah as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have any being let thy meditation be sweet unto him. I will rejoice in Jehovah. Let sinners be consumed out of the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless Jehovah, O my soul. Praise ye Jehovah. Okay, this is obviously talking about God and Jehovah. And you can see Jehovah right here. And you can see Jehovah again right here. And there's Jehovah again right here. Okay, and the word God is right here in the green. So this is obviously speaking about God, where it has the word God. Okay, and like I had said in another video, that seems to be the case almost every time when it's clearly speaking of God. It'll have something in the scripture that is making it clear that 
the word God encoded is referring to the true God. And there's only one time where I didn't see that to be the case, and that's when the matrix was all about the Antichrist. It didn't have that phenomenon where it's talking about Jehovah or something to do with God. And I just want to show you some of the other tables that I had done on March 26 where it had the word God. This one right here has the word God. And right where it says God, it says, crossing the G, it says, Give thanks unto Jehovah, for he is good, for his loving kindness endureth forever. And then crossing the O, you have, it says, Let the house of Aaron, and it's talking about the house of God right here. So you have the term, the house crossing the letter O and then crossing the D you have Jehovah saith that his loving kindness endureth forever okay so it's clear, clearly talking about God where it has the word God it has Jehovah right under it two times right here and then you know I had talked about this in the other video and then it has Jehovah is on my side right here and then Jehovah is on my side again twice and then you can extract his son from that as well because you can see the words his and son which would be Jesus right in there as well so it says praise Jehovah right at the top of where it says God and then Jehovah again at the bottom several times and then it's talking about the ho the house of God right in the middle which I really think what all of this is referring to is not only God but it's referring to the house of God okay I think that's very important you know once you understand that Jesus is the cornerstone and, and what the cornerstone represents you know it, it's a stone of stumbling for those who reject God's Word but it's a place of refuge it's the house of God for those who do accept Jesus and and take refuge in him it's it's the house of God and in this other one that was on March 26 if I can find it okay this one right here that had the word God this was clearly talking about the house of God because you see over here it's it says gold where the letter G is and then where the letter O is it says in the most holy house and then where the letter D is it says gold again and once you understand what is actually taking place and hopefully well actually not hopefully but if if the Lord should tarry and I have time to explain this then you know maybe I'll try to explain it more in another video what what is re being represented with the the house of God but I just thought of this earlier today when I was thinking about you know the three days and three nights that Jesus was in in the tomb so I'll just quickly just quickly try to explain I, I think that correlates with the you know what what's going to be taking place here Jesus was in the tomb for three days and three nights when he was undergoing his transformation of course he was always glorified he just took on human flesh willingly but you know during that time you know when he was undergoing his transformation he was in the tomb for three days and three nights and I think that correlates with you know what the bride is gonna go through as well and with what is being represented with um, what's going to take place with with the the rock 
and uh, God's Church and the Place of Refuge. And I thought it was interesting because I was thinking it's sort of like, you know, a caterpillar in a cocoon. And it had just dawned on me, I had just realized that the word chrysalis, it actually means gold in the Greek. And, um, you know, this is definitely making reference to a gold house, sort of like the chrysalis that the caterpillar goes in while it's being transformed into a butterfly. And I just thought that was interesting. So I just wanted to point that out. So sorry for interrupting this table here that I was just on. But I just wanted to point that out because there's always something interesting when it comes to the word God in the table, unless it's clearly not talking about God and talking about the false God, then, then you're not gonna see something like this. But as long as it's clear, it's talking about the true God. There's usually something like this in the table that makes it clear that it's not an accident where, where the word God is encoded in the table. And I just wanted to point that out for, um, you know, people that say that there's something wrong with using our own language and speaking our own language and that we shouldn't say things like God or we shouldn't say Jesus, you know. I mean, God is the one who confounded the languages and people shouldn't be trying to put burdens on people about how to say God's name. I mean, God knows who you're talking about and what's in your heart and that's all that really matters. It's not how you say his name, but who you're thinking of and who you believe in when you say it. So I just wanted to point that out and I'll go on to the next table. Okay, this one reads New Planet Nine sign, wrath, lion, God, come, Sunday, and of course the, the planet that was discovered is uh, supposedly the ninth planet, you know, originally the ninth planet was Pluto, but then they decided that wasn't a planet, and now they apparently discovered a new planet that's supposed to be the ninth planet, so that's why I put in the, the number nine, and that came up here in the lavender the letters N I N E and you see lion over here in the green with the letters L I O N and then God is in the yellow and over here in the green you have the word come with the letter C O M E and then the word sun is over here in the burgundy or wine color and new is over here in the light red, the letters N, E, W, and it comes right within the word planet, which is in the pink, the letters P, L, A, P, L, A, N, E, T, and day is over here in the bright blue, crossing the word wrath, the letters D, A, why and I think that's everything in this one and the next one reads new planet nine sign wrath lion god reap wheat and again you have the number nine here in the lavender going at an angle this time you have god over here in the gold and over here you have lion in the green, the letters L-I-O-N. You have sign here in the bluish purple. And you have planet here in the pink. New comes right in with the word planet right here at an angle. I think this is using different letters this time for new. And then wrath is right up here in the blue going straight up and down, the letters W, R, A, T, H, and in the green you have the word REAP, the letters R, E, A, P, and over here you actually have the word WHEAT, it's sharing with the word NEW over here, and it goes, it crosses through the word WRATH, and you can see the letters W, H, 
E-A-T